um, let's get off of food and go back to coffee. <laughs> okay. Um, but I, I was thinking about it. You mentioned it last time we talked um, off air. Um, you reminded me, I forget what you said, but we were sitting talking at a, at a coffee place um, and, and you kind of mentioned high something. Top, high Top Coffee. High Top Coffee, Fresno, right across. Tower from. District, Fresno, yep. Uh -huh. Yep. Um, but I remembered, I recall, I had forgotten that you're kind I don't know, how would you describe what you are when it comes to coffee or how, what's your level of interest or like or love? Are you, do you just love it? Or are you really actually very knowledgeable? What's your expertise? What's, what is all that coffee stuff? Um, well, you know, probably, probably just knowledgeable enough to be dangerous. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, compared to, compared to, to people that, <laughs> this is funny. I took a, uh, I, I took a quiz last night and, in, and the, a, a quiz, an online quiz, like a, Person, a personality quiz. Uh, it's called the Dark Triad quiz, right? And it, it shows some of your negative characteristics and how strong that they, how strong they are, and they come out in you. And uh, so <laughs> we are recording, just to remind you. So one of the things that came out was I'm a know-it-all. <laughs> so I, I think I, I think I'm always right. I think I always know <laughs> what I'm talking about. So, so I'm going to, I'm going to try to be, I'm going to try to be realistic here and say that, yeah, I probably don't know that much about. So you, you about, know enough to be upset with your coffee most of the time. No, I know what I like. Definitely. Yeah. I know what I like or what I don't like. Um, so I, you, uh, you know, I, obviously as a child, you don't grow up drinking coffee or, or you shouldn't, <laughs> you shouldn't be growing up drinking coffee, but you know, maybe in today's world with Starbucks on every corner, more kids yeah. grow up with coffee drinks, you know, that, that was not, there was not a Starbucks in our town until, um, I mean, I was probably, I was probably 30 before I ever had Starbucks. So Previous to that, my experience with coffee uh, growing up was non-existent. Our, our, our parents did not drink coffee. And it wasn't until my dad married Diane and um, that I probably ever had coffee. Now, but I remember Diane coming in and she would make coffee every morning. And what she would do is she would make the coffee and she had this little powdered creamer um, and so she would take a scoop of the powdered creamer, like two scoops of sugar and, and put the coffee and mix it up and, and give me that was my, that was my coffee. So it was pretty, pretty sweet. I mean, it was a pretty sweet coffee, but it was just, I think it was probably Folgers and yeah. just, uh, yeah. nothing fancy, just Folgers coffee. So that was my first experience with coffee. It, and honestly, like it was, I mean, it was really sweet, but that was because she made it up that way. The coffee itself was terrible. Like if you just had the, the coffee just straight, yeah, um, yeah. terrible. Now I drink today, I drink my coffee black. I just drink it just straight up because I've grown to, to enjoy the actual taste of the various coffees. Um, and, and so what happened was uh, going to you know going to Starbucks. So I was about thirty, and Starbucks came to town. Now before that, there was uh, Juice and Java. Do you remember Juice and yeah. Java in Porterville? Yep. So there was Juice and Java, and they did uh, you know they did like smoothie drinks, like blended drinks and stuff. Um, and they had coffee too, but I don't know that I ever tried their actual coffee. I just went for like their uh, they didn't call them frappuccinos, but their blended drinks, right? Yeah. So um, <clears throat> when Starbucks came to town, I remember going, I uh, worked out of town at, at the time. And so I remember going in the morning, very, very early, right, right when they opened. First thing in the morning, right when they opened, I think it was like, probably like five o'clock. It was pretty early. Um, and uh, I, I remember going in the first time and, and they had just opened and they were giving away free samples of their, their coffee. And so I tried their coffee. It was Pike's Place is what coffee it was. I remember it. 
And uh, so I tried it. I thought, oh, this is, I mean, this is Starbucks. This is the juggernaut of coffee. This is going to be great. I tried the coffee. It was terrible. Terrible. God, it was terrible. I was like, this, I told them, I was like, oh, this is terrible. So they said, well, what do you like? I said, well, I don't like this. I like something so sweet. Let me get some sweet. So Genevieve, it was Genevieve, I remember her name was Genevieve. She, she's like, okay, what you want then is a caramel macchiato. So she got me hooked, and I mean hooked, probably to the tune of like 30 pounds that I put on by drinking these caramel macchiatos over the next number of years. Like, oh God, how bad that, how, I mean, it tasted good. Don't get me wrong. It tasted I just good. had, I just had my, I just had my first one uh, two weeks ago. Yeah. Be leery. Be leery. It was <laughs> a lot of, how did you handle that? You're, aren't you uh, lactose intolerant? Yeah. I had uh, like two sips of, of one of my kids got it. We were in uh, Nevada visiting that and a uh, uh, little, coffee place they had there um it just it looks the only reason i tried it was it it looked so good and i've been trying to try i just started drinking coffee uh, miss k makes a cup in the morning and and that's the first you know time i've been drinking coffee but it i want to get into it it's kind of um it looks interesting mm -hmm. i see all these people with their different drinks coffee drinks they all look different um so i've been wanting to try you know, I'll take a sip of everything and, and get to, I'll get familiar with them. Yeah. Um, but it, it was, it, it, it tasted amazing. It was, yeah, no, it, it was good. But the, the ones from Starbucks anyway were whole milk. I was getting a, a, a venti, as they call it, which is their large, I don't know how many ounces that is, but it's like 32 ounces or something, 20 ounces. Anyway, a lot of calories. You go back to calories, you get a lot of calories every single morning that's how i was starting my day out so I, I i gained a lot of weight and i was like why am i getting so fat like <laughs> you didn't put the two together so 